I'm Shikha, you're watching this video from JustTutors.com and today we are going to learn about square and more pattern. So in this video we are going to learn one of the most important component of square that is Pythagorean triplets. So here before learning about it, there is a warm up for you. What you can do, just pause the video, try these two questions. Assuming that you have done it, now we can discuss the answer. So here we need to find the largest side of a right angle triangle if its other side which is 5 cm and 12 cm respectively is given to us. So here the square of 5 which is 25 and square of 12 which is 144. So while adding them together you will get 169 which is square of 13. So our answer is 13 cm which is the largest side and here once again we need to find the largest side of a right angle triangle if its other sides are 3 cm and 4 cm respectively. So once again the square of 3 which is 9, the square of 4 which is 16. Adding them together you will get 25 which is square of 5. So we got 5 cm as the answer. So you got them as the answer. That's really amazing and if you didn't then don't worry because I'm going to teach you this in this video. So here first of all let us see Pythagorean theorem. So here, suppose this is the shape of a playground, which is a right angle triangle. So here, you need to fence around it. And you are given the length of these two sides, A and B. So you need to find this, this side. So therefore, it's really important for you to learn about Pythagorean theorem to find this side very easily. So what you can do? a square which is this side and b square which is this side adding them together you will get c square and when you will find the square root of that you will get this side the length of this side so in this manner you can use Pythagorean theorem for such questions now let us see this one so here if you're going to give values to them like a will be 3 let us assume b to be 4 and if you need to find C. So use this Pythagorean theorem that is a square which is 9 add b square which is 4 that is 16. If you will add them together you will get 25 and square root of 25 is 5 so here the answer is 5 which is C. So in this manner you can use this theorem and try some more questions like this. Now let us move further and learn about Pythagorean triplets. So here, if we need to find the Pythagorean triplet, this is the formula. So first of all, you need to find out another triplet for any natural number, but the natural number should be greater than 1. That's a condition. So we have 2m whole square add m square minus 1 whole square will give us m square plus 1 whole square. So here, 2m, m square minus 1, m square plus 1 forms a Pythagorean triplet. Because they will satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. So with the help of example you will have a good idea about it. So we can try one example. So let us try this one. Here write a Pythagorean triplet whose one member is 6. So one is given to you. You need to find the other two. So here as we know 2m m square minus 1 m square plus 1 form a Pythagorean triplet for any number which is greater than 1. So let us assume 2m will be 6 which is given to us so from here we will get the value of m which is 3 so now we have 1 the value of m now we can substitute it here that is m square plus 1 so m is here 3 3 square add 1 which is 9 add 1 10 and similarly we will get m square minus 1 as 8 so here we got these three members 6, 8 and 10. Now we can check our answer by using this test that is Pythagorean theorem. So 6 square this member at a square the other one and when you will find their square it's 36 and 64. Adding them together you will get 100 and that's the square of 10. So that's the number. So in this manner you can check your answer after doing a question. So now let's move to a practice so here let us try number one so can you find the pythagorean triplet whose one member is 8 so once again use that formula find 2m 
assume that 2m is 8 so if from here we will get m, m as 4 so you got m as 4 now you can substitute it in m square minus 1 so it will give us 16 minus 1 which is 15 and m square plus 1 that is 16 at 1 17 so we'll get our three member that is 8 15 and 17 so now in this manner what you can do just pause the video try rest of them assuming that you have done them you can check your answer from this line and if you got them correctly that's really wonderful you're doing very well here just call your parents and show your progress to them so here thank you for watching the video for more please visit justtutors.com